Why are there some that are more expensive than others? Well, it's probably, uh, at the end of the day, cheaper not to purify at all. <laughs> and that's what a lot of people are doing. They're just harvesting dead baker's yeast. Uh, as far as the uh, the commodity goes, it's not much good to the baker if it doesn't make bread rise. And historically, if you had yeast cell walls that were dead, they just pitched it into animal feed or they used it as some sort of a thickener. But once it was determined that there was a treasure inside, well, then companies started to use this uh, dead yeast byproduct, the cell wall, and doing certain experiments with them and saying, hey, you know, this, this stuff will produce a certain amount of biological activity in regards to the immune system. We find out now that the more highly purified, that is the stripping away of the fats, the proteins, and even some of the other carbohydrates such as the chitin and the, and the collagen and so forth, uh, then, then you're going to find that this material is going to, uh, excuse me, not collagen, that's what sticks uh, animal cells together, glycogen is, is going to make for a much more potent material uh, on a dose-to-dose -dose basis.